just like the Dukes in Egypt. Soon as you see it, you'll be speechless, golden. No job when we slide through. We gon' provide you with something to ride to. All right, four years ago, the Oakland-based hip-hop group Hieroglyphics brought a free all-day music festival to Oakland, and since then, the event called Hiro Day has been recognized as kind of a holiday by former Oakland Mayor Gene Kwan, and it brings in thousands of people, tens of thousands of people. So this year, there's a change. The event's gonna cost you, but just under 20 bucks, and the price will get you a stage full of entertainment. Joining me now are Hyro Day co-founders, Jonathan Owens of the group Hieroglyphics, and Tahai Massey of both Souls of Mischief and Hieroglyphics. Hi, guys, thanks for coming Hi. in. How are you doing? I'm good. So, hey, tell me about this festival. Tell me what your goal is. I mean, you're trying to bridge some gaps and just kind of let people in, enjoy a little bit of music. Yeah, well, Power Day was started as an independent music festival, basically to provide a big stage platform for artists like ourselves. If anybody knows our history, we're independent artists, came out of Oakland, California. So we got together and thought, it would be good to present a stage for other up-and-coming artists like yeah, ourselves. Fun idea, great idea, but it, it went big. It got big. I mean, people liked it. They wanted to hear it. They wanted they wanted the music, right? Yeah, it grew well beyond our expectations. So it's what started off as sort of a block party now is uh, three stages, jumpers. We had the Dunkers from the Warriors last year. We're going to have probably the Quakes there this year doing an exposition and all that type of thing. So it's gone from just sort of a block party. I mean, the first year we had petting zoos and sort of something, so now it's like a huge family party with uh, multiple and stages, Hyrule multiple Day. performers, and all types of activities for residents and not residents. Which is awesome. Y you wanted to expand it, though. It sounds like, you know, you and you're talking about some of that expansion. In terms of where you see this going, I mean, it's, it's happening on Monday. You wanted to expand the footprint. You wanted to bring more things. You have this cost. Well, why the changes? Is it just growing s so big you want it to grow with you? Well, it was like each year it doubled in size, and we got to almost the number of 20,000 last year. And in thinking to have a free event like that continuously, we would begin to have safety concerns, so we had to put measures in place that would enable us yes. to, you know, yes. limit some of the people and as well provide a secure event for everyone who wants to come out. You know? What do you want people to walk away from, you know, this event feeling? I mean, it's obviously exposure to new artists and independent artists and giving people just a chance to see, you know, locally how much talent we have here. But when they leave, what are, what are you hoping? Well, I, I think the event has the the, the great uh, c character or quality of showing all that's good about Oakland. You know, I mean, it's, it's mainly Oakland residents. It's mainly Oakland local vendors and artisans and things of that nature. So to me, it's an, a, an event that makes people feel good about this place that we all call home. You know, we got a lot of new residents. We've got a, it's, it's a changing landscape out here. So for us to be this sort of household name brand name yeah. and to be serving this sort of home cook like and good right. positive music and 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 experience i think that's what i want people to walk away from like hey i love i love this city because of stuff like this yeah that's awesome so speaking of music are you guys working on anything new tell me about you know how you guys kind of have developed as artists as well well developing as an artist i uh, wrote a book called magi a handbook for the conscious community over the past few years also doing a lot of work to uh make sure we can stay independently owned and operated. We also still in the studio all the time. I don't know if you want to add about your last album. So Yeah, we just dropped an album last year called There's Only Now. Uh, Souls of Mischief is all live music with this great composer named uh, Adrian Young. It's got Snoop Dogg on there, Buster Rhymes, a bunch of stuff. So we're always working. Uh, what well, we're trying to work and, and put stuff up, things out on our own terms. And, and this event is sort of the culmination of, of how we want to present ourselves and also other artists that are in this sort of subgenre or genre. Yeah, it, it almost could be called on your own terms as, as an event, right? It's the theme. That could be another event. That's, that's a good idea. Event. That's a good idea. You come home. See, I'm helping. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. All right. Thanks so much All for right. coming in. Sounds Thanks like a fantastic event. Hope you guys have lots of success yeah, thank and, you. A, and an awesome day. All right. Well, Hiro Day is being celebrated Monday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. This year, it will be on 3rd and Chestnut Streets in West Oakland. Tickets are just under $20, and they are on sale now. And for more information on Hyro Day, including how to buy those tickets, just go to our website, ktvu.com. Look for the Hyro Day section in the web link section. It's under KTVU Extra, which is on our homepage. And Rosemary knew that you guys were having this event, so she's cooked up this really awesome forecast. <laughs> so it'll be a great day to sit around and uh, listen to some music and uh, enjoy uh, local groups on their own terms, right? Absolutely. Rosemary. Sounds like a great time.